Alright, hi everybody, it's Bonkai922. <coughs> I have a splitting headache, so I'm probably going to just do this real quick. And I will later today do the rest of my reviews. Mayu Mao Yusha, episode 10. I believe this one was called All Our Plans Are Coming to Fruition. I believe that's what this was called. Now, a lot of shit happened in this episode, and like I said, I have a splitting headache, so I'll try to be as quick as possible. But pretty much what happened in this episode, um, because last week was a, you know, like a flashback of, you know, of what happened in episode nine, was they had the situation with, you know, the one who was pretending to be Mao, and apparently there's war. Yeah, there's the idea of war coming on because of that speech she made. And the serfs want to gain freedom. And if they're going up against the church, and that's basically what went down here. And Yusha is troubled by it, he doesn't know what to do. Then the little <coughs> sister maid shows up and makes some pie. And he finally figures out what to do. He They build a church, another church, aside from the main church, to go against them. And the other things that happened in this episode pretty much were just, you know, minor things. The whole economic thing, the the wheat was increasing in price, and, you know, so and so forth. And then the other thing that happened was they had to find a way to prevent people, uh, uh, excuse me, from coming into the southern continent and basically destroying their economy. So that's what happened there. And the only other thing that really happened in this episode was the thing with Mao. Now, she was the ending of the episode. And, 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 well, it was that and something with Yusha. And with Mao, <coughs> what happened was It was a flashback while she's slaying on that thing. She's laying on this slab. This stone slab. And she's, you know, allowing the, uh, telling of the process of how the old demon kings alter her body and everything and so on and so forth. And the head maid is against it. You know. And that was basically what happened in that part. Now, we don't know the fate of her. And she was saying it was her fate and everything. And I thought this was an interesting part. Hers would have to wait next week to find out what conclusion this brings. But... The ending of this episode obviously had with Yusha. And the fact that um, he is against it, he doesn't want war, and that's all this stuff. And <coughs> the Winter King is telling him this. And, he's t and Yusha's telling him, stall them. He doesn't want any sacrifices. He doesn't want any people to die on either side. And that's when he says about the whole thing with um, the snow. And that if snow comes, you know, the world will stop. You know, the weather. He's saying based on the weather. You know. And that's pretty much what happened in this episode. Now, 
like I said, I got a really splitting headache. <clears throat> but from what I gather, this is like the crossroads for this series. This is like the climax. And next week's episode, it seems like it's going to be around the concept of killing and destroying and not. At least that's what it seems to me from what I have seen. Now, um, you know, it looks to me like things are going to get really heated up next week. Though, can't really tell much from the preview, but it's going to involve you, Shep. It's definitely going to involve him. We'll see how it goes, you know. We'll see what happens, what transpires. But uh, I like what I see. Um, you got to see, you got to wonder, though, about Mao. <coughs> and what she does and what happens to her. Because, and I said this already in a few more reviews of, this, of, of the previous episodes, that I felt that she was going to turn into evil. She was going to become evil. Now, that hasn't happened yet, but you got to wait and see. Now, I think there's like about two more episodes, so yeah. So we'll see. But overall, I like this episode. Very interesting seeing Yusha and what he was going through and the thing with Mal. But also a little explanation with the Dikana. I didn't go too much into that. It was, you know. But I like what I see. Good episode. I'm probably going to give this... Not a lot of happened. So I'm going to give this a 3.5 out of 5. Because not a lot happened. So. But. War is coming. War is coming. So. Look forward to that. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, the other reviews will come later today. My head's just killing me. I just... I can't do it. Fucking... Throbbing headache. Oh, that happened. Um, so yeah, look forward to that later today. I'll, it's just JoJo. What was it? Yeah, JoJo, One Piece, Ursula, and Fairy Tale. I'll take a look at Fairy Tale, and I'm gonna do anime series review, but it might happen not until Monday. Problem children are coming from another world, aren't they? I'm going to see you that. But, oh, yeah. So, yeah. I look forward to that. So, anyway. That's all I got for you guys. This has been Bonka. Also, uh, villain tag. I'll do that. The anime villain tag. <coughs> it's been Bonka 922. I'll see you guys later. You just trying to... Yeah. He was... He was... He's trying to stop the war. So, yeah. This, and, and, like I said, now. Look forward to it. Something big's going to happen with her. Can I turn it? We'll see. See.